Hey guys, Jason here for the Chart Guys, checking out Roku. If you don't know what the Chart Guys is, we are a community of a thousand plus technical analysts. We love charts, we love trading, we love talking about this stuff. And if you're checking this out, you probably like charts as much as we do, so we should be friends. Come check us out. On the daily time frame, Roku looks like we are in a good bullish position. And on the four hour time frame, we are. But this is actually a descending scallop pattern where you see a big price drop, you see a rounded bottom upside movement and then suddenly downside continuation and as we're right up against this EMA 26 resistance it has me a little bit of cautious uh, I would be just thinking of this bearish position in my mind as I'm placing entries and I um, wouldn't allow it to, to dictate my overall plays because on the four hour time frame as we'll see we're very very strong uh, but I would just be thinking about that as we start to look for reversals, I might let my short positions run a little bit longer than I would, knowing that I think we're in a daily bear pattern. But until that is proven, bulls are definitely in control. And if we go to the four hour time frame, we can see that is indeed the case. Bulls are setting four hour higher lows, higher highs with our new high, just breaking now 122.50 and our last higher low. So we have four hour support at 115.28. Bulls in control pretty much all of the way. Resistance on the four hour time frame, 134.90. And then beyond that, 152.85. Those are going to be the key levels. In fact, I'm going to change that a little bit, 152.37. On the hourly time frame, are bulls in control? Yes, they are. They broke the hourly uptrend by setting a low under 115.80, but they managed to retake it by getting a new high. So they are in control again. And as long as they stay above 115.28, they're going to maintain that control. So that will be the first sign of the red flag that I'd be looking for for any potential short entry. And again, I want to reiterate that there's only a bearish pattern present. It doesn't mean it's going to execute. It's just something to think about. And right now, bulls are in control and there's no slowing them down on the hourly or the four hour time frame. On the hourly, resistance again, 134.90. So if we get a good bull volume tomorrow, we have the potential to, to move pretty quickly. RSI is overbought at 71.61, so look for those periods of consolidation. If we have good bull volume, there's going to be a lot of uh, RSI-based consolidation opportunities for us tomorrow. So watch out for those. If we break 115.28, that's going to be a change in trend. We'll look for support over at 110.69. And then I jump to the four-hour time frame. And really, we don't have a heck of a lot to 104.26. By that time, that uh, bearish pattern on the daily would be underway. And then I would be looking for more long-term support entries or more long-term short entries uh, with the only real resistance at 98.08, 96, and 87.34. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your time and uh, your interest in technical analysis, really.